Stage 3 procedure activated. Cryogenic reversal. Hibernation procedure terminated. Pods opening. <sighs> There's something wrong. Martinez. My god. She's dead. It's not safe. We have to get out of the ship. Now! Where are we? Cassiopeia's navigation system didn't survive the landing. It's impossible to know where we are. It's not just the navigation system that's gone. The clock on the control panel said 3889. It's not possible that we've been drifting for nearly 2,000 years. This heat is unbearable. What on earth is that? I have no idea. But it's the first sign of life we've seen so far. They look like primitive symbols, a kind of... <gasps> Trees, grass, there must be water down there. Shh, Ulysses, Romulus, look. They, they look like... What's that? Something's coming! Run! Quiet, you miserable human! You'll get fed soon enough!
I suggest that you choose your words more carefully. You seem to forget that you are speaking to the supreme leader of the Apes Council. You are to adopt a more moderate tone. Of course, Dr. Zaves. But I was simply saying that this human could provide an unexpected opportunity that may never occur again. Furthermore... Dr. Zira, how can I make you see reason? You chimpanzees seem to be so absorbed by your research work that you can no longer see the forest through the trees. I beg your pardon, Dr. Zaius, but I am just trying to make you understand. You seem to fear a danger that simply does not exist. And I would like to know exactly why this research is such a cause of worry to the Central Power and the Orangutans. This discussion has gone on long enough, Doctor. All you've got is your intuition and a few unusual experiments, but nothing remotely solid. And the discovery of this individual, who is rather special, I admit, cannot change this decision in any way. And to come to your point about a possible danger, I have looked carefully at the fire on this human specimen, and I am convinced that he is dangerous. Based on what? He was wearing a decontamination outfit when he was apprehended, probably stolen from some careless chimpanzee like yourself. He may even have killed someone to get hold of it. Did you call for a check in the area where he was captured? What? No, but... But that was the first thing you should have done, Doctor. And I am astonished at your incompetence. No, I simply cannot allow an animal as dangerous as him to remain alive. And as such, he must be put down as quickly as possible. But you cannot do that! How dare you! I was simply saying... That's enough! You're going too far, Professor Zira. My decision is made. This human will be transferred tomorrow to the Hominid Monitoring Unit at the Mandrill Militia Station and eliminated from there. Believe me, the Mandrills will enjoy getting rid of him for us. Dr. Zaius, this is outrageous! And an abuse of your authority! The discussion is over, Doctor, and my decision is final. And may I add, that if you continue down this path of openly defying your superior's authority with your deranged conceits about human intelligence, that someone may decide to attach a different motivation for your experiments. And that, Dr. Zira, is treason. Ooh, treason. Just who does that overinflated orangutan think he is? He's more pig-headed than a drunken mandrel, and more stupid than a panicked baboon!
Ugh. 